Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at 7 Days to Die 1.0 on the Xbox Series X. And you know what, let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data it is. And that's 23.5 GB. The game's not on Game Pass and it's like 45 euros. So I must say, I, th I still think it's pretty steep because there are there's definitely some work to be done still. Um, the game is optimized for new gen consoles, Xbox Gen 9, Gen Scarlet. But let's just dive in. You guys, if you like this kind of content, Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis, new games, old games, updates on games, and sometimes even a bit of hardware here and there. So yeah, this is version 1.0. Big shout out, by the way, to the publisher of the game for sending me access to the game. So I could do a video on it. Um, not completely convinced about the game. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not uh, I'm gonna sugarcoat it. Uh, yeah, of course you can play this game online. Of course you can play this game with friends online. And um, I do think that this game is best played with mouse and keyboard. And yes, it is playable with mouse and keyboard. In terms of graphics... Um, Yeah, it's it's something, you know, I did a video on it. So on Series S, it's meh at best. On Series S, it's... I was expecting more. So the, the resolution is at around 1080p on Series X. It does still have some frame drops here and there, but I think that has more to do with like server uh, issues or something. Um, overall, it aims for a 60 FPS, but... You know, this game is like, what, like 10 years old? It came out like 10 years ago, 2013 or something. And yeah, it's just not really well optimized. It's pretty poorly optimized, if I have to be honest. You know, this could be maybe in a, if they would put a little bit more effort into optimizing this game for these consoles, there's definitely some fun to be had. But right now, I would say wait wait you know it in my opinion it's not worth 45 euros for the, the the full game because um yeah for 45 euros i want a game that's optimized a little bit better and that's the same for series s s x no difference ooh, ooh, ooh. what's this I survived that. So yeah, this is Series X, and yeah, like I said, it's mediocre. I think yeah, mediocre at at best. You know, 1080p uh, upwards to what's this? Okay, oh that's cool. Some schematics. Hey, buddy. Finally. What do we have here? Ooh, piece of candy. There's a lot of zombies that are coming out of the closet in this game. It 
Let's see, what do we have here? Hey. A piece for a gun or something. Oh, I've been in here before already. So yeah, the game is incredibly big. I think the map is like what I don't even know. Look at this. That's only the part that I have been thus far. You can build like complete cities in this game. You know, if you can think about it, you can do it in this. You get like incredibly insane weapons later on in the game. But yeah, it's so sad that it's so poorly optimized. I'm, I'm actually disappointed by that. You know, th this game looks like a lot of fun. Ten eighty P with graphics medium and still have frame drops. Yeah. Yeah. That's not something uh, to be proud of. And especially not for a game that's what like ten years old. If it was a brand new game with a brand new engine or something. Hey. You see? Please protect and serve. I don't have any lockpicks. Okay. Want to know? What's that? Hello. Stay down. Stupid zombie. Hey, another one. Ooh, big boy. Yep, here we go. But, yeah, you guys, this is um, 7 Days to Die on the Xbox Series X. 1080p, 60fps. <sighs> it could be worse, but it could also be 100 times better. Let's be honest. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.